What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to Bourbon of the Week. My name's Chris. I'm going to be your host for today. And a couple of weeks ago, we reviewed this High West Cash Strength, the first Cash Strength release coming out of High West, and we had a bunch of questions that we didn't have answers to. That is up until today. We reached out to somebody in my Discord, who reached out to somebody in another Discord, who put us on an email chain with Brendan Coyle, the VP and Master Distiller at High West, and we have some answers for you today. You're going to love this. I love this. We're going to re-review this today according to his specifications, which is to let it sit for just a little bit longer than I did last time it was the neck pour just about so let's try this one more time everybody knows time for the traditional sip cheers y'all it's been about 20 minutes That's right, everybody. Again, this is High West Cash Strength, the first Cash Strength release. We're going to make this review a little bit quicker. We're going to skip the Bourbon Bomb of the Week because basically this whole video is the Bourbon Bomb of the Week. This comes in at 117.4 proof. Let me double check that. 117.4 is correct. And I emailed this man and I asked him a bunch of questions and he did not disappoint. Let's get into question number one from me as well as his answer. Question number one from me was, and I quote, I know in the past High West has sourced its whiskey from distilleries like MGP and Barton. They also started distilling their own whiskey in, I believe, 2011. Is this cash strength a blend of straight bourbons, 100% High West product? Is this a blend of High West with MGP and other distilleries? Or is there no High West product in this at all? And while we answer that question, let's get into drinkability on this real quick. I don't even remember the score that I gave this the first time around, but I will say this, letting this open up a little bit does seem to help this out a lot. This is a cash strength bourbon. We know that they need to open up a little bit. It was the first or second glass that I had of this when I did review it. So it's been open in the bottle for a couple of weeks and in the glass for a couple of minutes here. Let's take one more sip. We do give it an 8.0 if it drinks right at its proof, and I'm kind of going to keep it right around that 8.0 mark. Maybe I would say this is like 115 proof, so let's go a smidge over 8.0 at like an 8.11 when it comes to drinkability on this. But more importantly than drinkability, let's get into the answer on this. He says, and I quote, we've been producing bourbon since about 2015. I said 2011, so I was a couple of years off, but I have not included it in any products yet. So no, this cash strength release has no high west pot stilled produced bourbon yet. My plan for first inclusion sits with our core high west bourbon product, and I anticipate working it in sometime next year. That is big information. That means High West is ready to use their own product. They've been distilling it since 2015, which makes it about eight, maybe going on nine years old next year. And that might be some pretty damn good whiskey to start blending into what they have right now. So that's exciting. That's new news that I did not know. Question number two that I asked as we get the taste on this bottle right here. With PA receiving this bottle first, it opens up the question on distribution. How did PA receive this bottle first? What is the total number of bottles produced? And where and when can we expect this bottle to hit other markets? That's important if you want to get your hands on this bottle right here. So let's get the taste on this right now. Now, since we're on taste, I'm going to skip the answer to that question real quick and tell you I did ask him for distiller notes on taste. He says on the nose, which I don't do a lot of nosing, clementine, red delicious apple skins, pound cake with maple icing, black walnuts, coffee latte, lemon thyme. As for the palate, though, candied lemon, apple fritters, caramel corn, almond nougat, blackstrap molasses, and weathered hickory wood. That's some tasting notes if I've ever heard them. Now, as for what I pick up on this, he mentions black walnuts. And it's funny because I've started using black walnuts from Fee Brothers in my old fashioned, and you definitely pick that up, if not on the taste, definitely on the nose. And I'm not a big nose guy. And then that lemon that they keep talking about, it does have a citrusy note to it, which kind of gives it more of like a, a soury, spicy note that I really kind of enjoy a little bit. Mix that with the molasses that you definitely get on this and maybe that candied caramel. I don't know about caramel nougat or what do they call here? Caramel corn and almond nougat. It's definitely something like that. I'm not very good at picking out those specific notes, but very sweet on the front, a little bit of citrus in the middle there, and then definitely ends with some oak finish on the end. Nothing overwhelming, definitely not tannins or anything that dries out the mouth, but a pretty good overall taste. The only thing that I don't really love about it is it does seem to have a short finish, especially for a cash strength whiskey. Now he also mentions the finish on this is peach nectar, strawberry jam, and sweet cherry tobacco. I don't get too much tobacco on this myself, but I do get that cherry note. Once you get into these higher proof whiskeys, you can normally pick up a cherry note if they're trying to put those in there. 
As for this glass though, all of the flavors are very good. They just all seem to be a little bit quiet, especially for a cash strength whiskey. When you're talking about cash strength, you're expecting the ethanol kick, and then you're also expecting a big punch when it comes to the flavor profile. While I don't hate any of the flavors that are in this, I just feel like I'm searching for them a little bit for 117.4 proof. Let's take one more sip, give you the answer to question number two, and then give you a score when it comes to taste. So back to the answer for question number two, which was about distribution, and I quote, the Cash Strength series is the first release of a new small batch series we're doing for national accounts and other big suppliers going forward. We're creating a new blend each year and we'll do quarterly releases of this new recipe. Each quarter finished in a new barrel type except for the first release each year, which will be a Cash Strength as opposed to finish, which is what you have acquired. Folks, that means there are going to be four different high wests coming out each year. All of them the same mash bill, but year over year the mash bill will change. Three of them being finished, one of them being cash strength. I don't know if they're going to be different finishes each year, if they're going to be different proofs each year. It's going to be exciting what they're doing at High West. They're going to put out a bunch of products. And again, eventually, it sounds like they will be putting their own whiskey in these. But as for taste, let's give this a score. See, again, the only knock that I have on this right now is it seems like it's a little bit quiet compared to other cash strength whiskeys that are on the market. That being said, all the flavors are very good. There's nothing about this that's making me not enjoy this glass of whiskey. It just seems like, and I have to compare it obviously to other cash strengths on the market. I'm searching for these flavors just a little bit more than I would like to. We give it a 7.0 if it's an average whiskey. I think it's an above average whiskey. Eight, maybe like a high seven for this. Let's go like 7.94 when it comes to taste on this. I ended up asking five questions in this email because I felt like that was the appropriate amount to not get ignored, but at the same time, get enough information that I can provide to you guys. Question number three was, and I quote, if this product does contain high West whiskey, can you disclose a mash bill? If not an exact percentage of grains, can you tell me if it's high rye, weeded, etc.?" He said, see below. I also asked, is there an age statement or an age range that goes along with this particular bottle? He said, see below. We've got both of those answers for you right here after price. Let's talk about it. What are we getting here? 117.4 proof coming out of High West, but we know more than that, so let's go over these answers real quick. This is MGP and Heaven Hill. 75% corn, 21% rye, 4% malted barley coming out of MGP. 78% corn, 10% rye, 12% malted barley coming out of Heaven Hill. This is four to nine years old, and I don't know the percentage of what's MGP, what's Heaven Hill, but that's a lot more information than I had going into it the first time, so let's talk about it when it comes to price. The last thing that I do want to mention that he says in this email, because I think it's going to help me when it comes to drinking this, and I think it's going to help you if you open this for the first time, and it says, I quote, I recommend a nice long oxidating period to open it up. It really benefits from it. I pour it tall and let it sit uncovered for about 20 minutes. Take your time. Enjoy it. Cheers. That's very important. I think a lot of times I get excited about a bottle. I pop it. I pour it. I'm like, damn, that's pretty hot. Yeah, you got to take into consider the neck pour. You have to take into consider have you had a glass of whiskey tonight or not. Sometimes a little bit of time is all you need for something to really open up. And at $70, I don't hate this at all. That being said, we had a pretty good drinkability on this above average. We had above average when it comes to the taste, although just a little bit short for my particular palate. And at $70, I think there's a lot of good stuff in that $70 price point. And there's also a lot of good cash strength whiskey on the market. That being said, with the information that I now have, by the way, there's 46,134 bottles of these. So when I thought that this might be one of those things that's a lottery pick over in Utah, that's not true at all. And I can tell you that based off how many bottles they're producing. So I'm excited to see that a lot of people will be able to get their hands on this. And I'm kind of curious what you guys think about it if you do have an opportunity to try it. So let me know in the comment section below. But when it comes to price on this, I gotta take one more sip, I'm sorry. I'm going to give it like an 8.4 when it comes to price on this. First of all, now that I know what I know about it being Heaven Hill and MGP, obviously 100% sourced, we know that's going to cost them a little bit more money. Being the first cash strength release, I think they could have asked for more on this, but I'll be honest with you, the most exciting thing that's coming out of High West is going to be their own distillate. They have eight, nine-year-old whiskey sitting in a warehouse, and I really want to try that over more Heaven Hill and MGP. Not to say that this is bad, we know they produce good whiskey, but that's what we've got in this glass versus something that they can call their own and I'm excited for that.
Here's what I need from you. Click that like and that subscribe button. That's what's going to allow me to make the connections I need to make to bring you information like this that you might not have had before. That being said, the first time around this got an 8.12. This time around it's getting an 8.15. Maybe it opened up a little bit, but again, I'm more excited to see what High West can do with their own dissolute than what they can do with somebody else's. But hey, in the meantime, make sure you check me out on Instagram at Bourbon of the Week. Go click that follow button over there. We're pushing 10,000 subscribers and I need your help. Check out our Patreon page and that Discord. Both those links in the description below. Please don't drink and drive. Always drink responsibly and stay healthy, stay happy. Stay checking out High West. Cheers, y'all. Cheers, y'all. Not cheer, y'all. You'll think I'm drunk or something. <laughs>